Welcome to the Gymcation vlog. I'm so happy to have you over here. The summer is going to be here before we know it. Tank tops and summer dresses season is upon us. So let's go ahead and see some workouts that are going to be effective for getting that cut, that smooth, lean look that us ladies adore. There's some specific hip workouts that I do. So if you're curious about any of that, I definitely encourage you to watch the video all the way to the end. Hopefully you find something you like in there or of benefit. Join me, if you will, as we go get this shoulder workout in, babe, so we can look good and svelte for the summer and for a lifetime. Today's date is March 12, 2024. The reason I'm recording the date is because I am on a total body transformation journey and I love to be able to look back later and see how far I've progressed with my workouts. I'm going to do very little editing or speeding up the clips because I want to show you all in real time what it looks like to do multiple repetitions and doing supersets back to back. So therefore my heart rate is always steadily elevated. So it feels more like a cardio workout. These exercises are very much beginner's exercises that even can be done at home. You could do this in the office. I have a five pound dumbbell set that I keep at work. I take them out on my walks during my lunch break, or I'll just be, you know, sitting there on the phone and doing some bicep curls. You know, you got to do what you got to do. So if you're interested in more advanced shoulder specific exercises, Please stay tuned to the end of the video where we're going to kick it up a notch or two. So the other thing we're going to do towards the end of the video is look at my Apple Watch metrics to see how well we did with functional strength training today. And then I also want to show you my calendar for the last four months to see the dates in which I closed all my circles on my Apple Watch. and. I think for a fun game I'll do that's interactive for you, the viewer, is you could pick a date, leave it in a comment, and maybe I'll do a video that day showing you what exercises were on that specific day. And of course, I'm always recording in the gym, so there's probably a video that can go with that date that shows you what body specific things we did, right? Does that sound good? Let's do that. So let me know what your favorite way is to enhance your arms and shoulders and i'm going to stop talking now but like comment and subscribe and i'll catch up with y'all towards the end of the video i don't mind if you watch this at two times the speed maybe it'll help you in the gym if you want to work out along with me okay all right let's go
And as promised, I have some challenging exercises that get your shoulders and arms toned up. This is around the world kettlebell swings featuring the 18 pound kettlebell. Um, you can start a little lighter uh, and do what you feel is comfortable for you. Spinning it around your body with ultimate concentration. You also are holding in your abs. This is the wonder of the kettlebell. You are working your core, leaving a little space on the handle and then catch it on the other side. I do 10 and then I go the other direction and then I go right into the overhead American kettlebell swing. Your body should be one giant line up and down from foot to toe to head to kettlebell. I'm getting it just above slightly, you know, I'm not all the way where my alpha puff is, but hey, we're getting there. This helps your glutes. It's a, it's a hamstring exercise. Your quad is working. Everything's working your abs, but of course those arms are going to get some benefit out of this as well. This is definitely in my top five favorite exercises to do in the gym. I cannot wait to buy me some kettlebells for the house so I could do this at home. Baby, we are rock stars today, honey. Look at me. Celebrate the small victories, y'all. This is an 18-pound kettlebell full steel. Honey, it's been well loved clearly in this gym. At this point, the heart rate is elevated. Look at that, 164. That's what hip workouts do for you. Your heart gets in there and it gets elevated. And so you can start burning fat. So let's analyze my workout. We did about an hour and 24 minutes of functional strength training. That's just strength training, y'all. Straight up. I did the bike only for 11 minutes because my feet were burning and hurting, which you'll see later. A little bit of clips from me on the recumbent bike. My stand goal didn't get met for the day. I didn't go to work today. I had a day off. So that explains why my stand circle didn't close. But here is my calendar from my Apple Watch, looking at all the rings that I closed since I've joined this gym in October. My calendar is pretty packed. So pick a day and hopefully there's an exercise I can explain to you what I did that day. And then if there's a video to accompany it, I will do a video by request. There I am on that bike. Um, 10 minutes was all I was able to do with a workload of two on there, the resistance, and then yeah, the workout jam of the day is about damn time by Lizzo. There's my gym selfie. Yo, I had fun today. Did you enjoy this workout? Let me know. Like, comment, and subscribe for more at Gymcation.